Muslims like to boast about their Islamic teaching and sources and always claim that their teachings and the authentic sources are in line with today's modern scientific facts. Well, is that true? I would like to point out 10 hadiths which is considered as authentic by the scholars of Islam and you can evaluate in the light of common sense, rationality, whether this appeals logical to your common sense. Volume 7 of Sahil Bukhari, Book 71, Number 621, it says, Fever is from the heat of hell. So you can abate it with water. Volume 7 of Sahil Bukhari, Book 71, Hadith number 591 and 592 says, The black cumin is healing for all disease except a sam, death. That means black cumin is a good, uh, a good healing factor for every disease that exists on the earth. I think for Ebola as well. Sayal Bukhari 456, volume 6, book number 60. Hadith number 7, it says, As for the resemblance of the child to its parents, if a man has sexual intercourse with his wife and gets discharged first, the child will resemble the father. And if the woman gets discharged first, the child will resemble. I do not know how it is in line with modern science. Sahil Bukhari, volume 4, book number 54, hadith number 509 says, Yawning comes from Satan. If you and I yawn, it is not because of any scientific factor, it is because of Satan. Sahil Bukhari 42 7129 713 in other words book uh, volume number 4 book number 54 hadith number 509 says devil enters the mouth when somebody yawns so when you yawn when I yawn we need to uh, practice extra caution because Satan enters our mouth Bukhari volume 4 book number 54 hadith number 516 says Satan sleeps in your nose in the upper part of your nose at your night so Satan likes your nose to be the best place than all five star or seven star hotels Sayal Bukhari volume 2 book number 21 uh, hadith number 245 says oversleeping is caused by Satan urinating in your ear so when you wake up tomorrow at 12 30 or afternoon that means Satan has certainly urinated in your ear Bukhari, volume number 4, book number 54, hadith number 537 says, The wing of a housefly can cure disease. For example, if you are having a drink and you see a, a fly falling into your drink, do not throw the drink away. Dip the fly again because the other wing, according to the, this hadith says, the uh, other wing of the housefly is the cure for that particular disease. Lastly, Sahil Bukhari, volume 7, book number 65, Hadith number 356 says, eating seven dates can cure poison. So if somebody eats poison, do not take them to hospital or intensive care unit. Just feed them seven dates according to Muhammad. So these are the rational and scientific teachings of Muhammad and Muslims boast about their teachings to be in line with today's science. You can evaluate by yourself and come to a conclusion whether these are scientific facts or irrational, illogical stuff that came to Muhammad as a revelation from a supposed angel called Gabriel. Thank you very much.